And we're not the only ones dealing with this cold weather. This cold front that moved through the gym state yesterday is now as far south as Mexico, all the way through southern Arizona. And when we have a lot more moisture associated with this cold front a little farther north, getting a bunch of snow in eastern Colorado, northern New Mexico, so snow and cold. So we're not alone, and it's going to be a really cold one tonight. In fact, a little bit colder than it was last night. That means Pocatello. 19 is what we're expecting for a low. That's the coldest it's been in Pocatello since March. So yeah, it's been a while since we've been this chilly. Idaho Falls, 15 for a low. Won't be record cold, but temperatures running a good 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Uh, for the Central Mountains, same thing, clear sky. We'll see a low temperature in Stanley back down in the single digits. The rest of us will be in the tweens, twe teens, tweens, teens, 19 for a low in Mackey. I guess that would be tweens, right? At least maybe, yeah, maybe 10 or 11 would be tweens. Five for a low in Jack's night, so colder than it was last night. Yellowstone two above. Last night, though, though they were two below zero, so the only place that's really going to be warmer, if you want to call it that, would be Yellowstone National Park. Southeast Highlands, colder than last night. Lows ranging from about 10 in Montpelier to a pair of 17s. One for you, Southern Bannock County. That's you, Downey. 17, yeah, Preston. Neighbors to the west will be just as cold. 17 expected there. Income, one degree warmer with a low of 18. And then tomorrow, at least it will look warmer when you look up. You see all that blue sky. we got more of that in the forecast. It's going to take a while to warm up, though. Hard to believe this, but we'll actually be a few degrees warmer tomorrow afternoon than we are or we were today. 43 for high in income. We were only in the 30s today uh, for high temperatures. Soda Springs, barely 40. We're still struggling in Montpelier. At least we'll get above freezing. It'll take forever to get there, but we will. More sunshine for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. High temperatures for all areas, for all places. We'll be above freezing, even Yellowstone. Looking at a high of 36. America, or I should say Jackson, a couple degrees warmer than that with a high of 38. And then more sunshine for the central mountains. Almost 50. For high and chalice. Yeah, okay, now we're getting closer. More sunshine for the Snake River Plain, still in the 40s like today, maybe a couple degrees warmer. 45 for high in the Gate City, 44 in Idaho Falls. And thankfully, not a lot of wind out there, pretty similar to what we had today. Winds maybe up to 10 miles per hour max. That's about it. We don't need to feel any colder, especially in the morning. Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast, almost 50 on Friday. There's the warmer. Yeah, this weekend will be in the lower to mid 50s. Then going back to work and school on Monday, there's a possibility in the afternoon of some rain showers. We may see that rain turn to snow Monday evening. Definitely a little better chance of just snow Monday night into Tuesday morning. And we're back to colder weather. Highs only in the 40s starting Tuesday, and so enjoy the weekend. Teton area seven day forecast will be a little warmer this weekend, certainly not nearly as cold at night. Highs will be in the mid 40s, lows upper teens, to lower 20s. After the weekend, it starts to change again. Rain, snow likely with snow on the way Tuesday and a chance of lingering snow next Wednesday. And for the Central Mountains, this is for you, Sam and Chalice Mackey. You got three days you'll be in the 50s starting Friday and then giving up those 50s yet again. Monday, rain, snow possible, and then it just, just a chance of all snow Wednesday.